He tried taking water from toilets, but it's Secretary not sure who finds himself in the toilet now. And as history pulls down its pants and prepares to lower its, its ass. ass on not sure's head, it will be Daddy Justice who will be crapping on him this time. We now go live to Violence Channel correspondent for Micah Davis at the Extreme Court with highlights on today's trial. Baseless claims about a link between vaccines and developmental disorders have fueled the so-called anti-vaxxer movement for years now. But in Texas, the anti-vaxxers are motivated by something else, an unconditional commitment to personal freedom, even at the expense of public health. Since the start of the year 2020, more people have become aware of how co-opted the world is in increasing numbers. Society got divided between those who accept the mainstream news narrative and those who completely reject it. In this video I want to explain what makes people wake up to what happens around them, or as the mainstream media calls it, becoming a conspiracy theorist. And that's the nice name they call you? This is my theory of how a person gets to realize what's going on and notice that the system works directly against their interests. This line represents the world's population. Every person can be positioned somewhere on this scale depending on how much faith they have in their government. First we consider the situation before COVID. Let's focus on the two extremes. The right extreme is convinced that any government decision goes against their own interest, while the left side swallows every word that comes out of John Oliver's mouth. Every single family has one member that when anyone gets a message from them, the first response is to go, Ah, oh, shit, what now? <laughs> you can download that if we divide this scale to have a clear separation between those who follow the news, and those who are considered conspiracy theorists, we can assume that the latter had a small number of members in the pre-COVID era compared to the general population. When explaining my theory, I have to make a lot of assumptions, since it is impossible for me to get the data of how many conspiracy theorists are out there. An important concept in statistics when considering large groups is normal distribution, or bell curve. If an entire population is represented by this line, the majority of people fall in the middle, while less and less data subjects will be represented as we move to the two extremes. Randomly distributed population data is usually symmetrical and can be applied to display a lot of different parameters, such as height, weight, or IQ scores. If we get back to what makes a person distrust his government, my theory suggests that the main reason is that this person was somehow screwed badly by the authorities. A man who was not traumatized enough by the system refuses to see how broken it is, regardless of the amount of evidence he is presented with. My opinion is that anyone who becomes a conspiracy theorist goes through a process that includes different phases but for simplicity I only make the separation between one who believes the mainstream narrative and one who questions it. What we call awakening of the masses is inevitable. The actions taken by governments around the world made it undeniable that a conspiracy on a wide scale is taking place. As time passes, more people join the right group of the scale in increasing numbers. If we look at the shape of the normal distribution, it is clear that the group of those who realize that they were lied to grows gradually and will continue to grow until we reach the middle of the curve bell. You probably know people who refuse to abandon their belief and still follow every word said by politicians and journalists and you may ask yourselves how can they still accept what they're told. The reason is that they are on the left side of the scale. The more distant they are from the border that separates the groups, the more difficult it will be for them to understand what you understood. Depending on their distance from the other group, they may accept that they were lied to soon, 
or they may always insist on holding on to their beliefs. Since the trust in the old systems decreases, there is one thing to be aware of. A vacuum will be created and many will search for a new belief system to follow. The ruling class was prepared for this awakening to happen, so they try to hold their control over the masses by replacing one belief with another. Some pages and alternative news channels share knowledge while pushing an agenda of their own. Using these controlled opposition sources, the people in charge push Nazi propaganda in an attempt to make it the new mainstream narrative. It's all written here in Mein Kampf. The Jews are communists. They killed their 30 million Russians. He got involved in some other groups, religious groups, that have a very interesting backstory, to say the least. Some of these groups that start with a J, I can't actually say on YouTube because, you know. Groups that start with a J.